G'day, it's Stephen Bella from exercises.com.au. Today we're gonna to show you how to do a handstand hold. Bella's gonna demonstrate for us. And kicking down. So all we're doing is practicing to do a handstand. We're using the wall to hold us up. Okay, so this is quite good to uh, just get used to going upside down. A lot of people struggle with that. Um, good way to then work into a handstand push up or a handstand walk. So first of all, setting up, you need to make sure your feet are underneath your shoulders or maybe a little bit wider, okay? From there, the feet are up nice and high, so she's reaching up, toes are pointed, quads, as you can see, are activated, glutes are switched on. Also, the whole core is switched on, okay? The lats are switched on as well. Notice that she's looking up, so she's not looking at the ground from there. The arms are locked out as well. So, kicking down. Let's just have a look at a couple of faults. So as we're kicking up, having hands too close. So the hands are quite close there, and also she's already starting to go a little bit off balance, okay? So there's quite a small area to hold us up there. We wanna have a decent foundation with the hands at least shoulder width apart. Probably no further than that though. So from there also is just not being engaged through the core. So coming up and now, it's probably the most common one when we're in, in a handstand hold is that she's got this very big arch there, okay? As you can see there, it's a quite a big arch. There's a lot of load going into her shoulders and her hands as well, okay? So kicking down. So you gotta make sure that you're quite engaged through the core. Now, kicking back up. Feet are pushing up to the roof. Her glutes are switched on, her quads are switched on, and she's quite active through the core. That is how we do a handstand hold. Search through exercises.com.au for more great videos and we'll see you next time.